Uh, so is the way you were disqualified from Parliament and what is happening in Pakistan, do you see any similarities here? And what does that say about politics in the region? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, look, uh, as you said, I asked a rhetorical question. Uh, I asked the question, why, uh, well, you described it. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm fighting a court case, so I have to be careful. But I asked a rhetorical question. And I'm the first person uh, in India to be given a, the highest punishment for a defamation case. It's the first case, I'm the first person in Indian history since 1947, right? Nobody has been given the maximum sentence on defamation and that too uh, on the first offense, right? So that, that should explain what's going on here. Mm -hmm. um, and my disqualification happens quite interestingly after I make a speech about Mr. Adani on Parliament. So you can do the math. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. Um, but you know, my disqualification is not really, it's okay, it's not the most important thing. The most important thing is the thousands and thousands of other voices, civil society, uh, government, bureaucracy, uh, who are being frightened into submission. That's much more important to me than my disqualification. Mm -hmm. My disqualification in, in many ways is an advantage for me. How so? Because it, it uh, opens up completely new spaces for me. Mm. Um, you know, it, it allows me to completely redefine myself. And I think they've given me a gift, frankly. They don't think they realize it, mm. but they have. Um. Politics is not linear. You know, it's like, it's, it can suddenly go off into another direction. It's asymmetric. So I think, I, I think they've, they've given me a gift. It's not apparent right now, but I think they have.